Question 28. The diagram is not drawn accurately. That is the first thing you're supposed to spot. We can't get out a protractor and start measuring. We've got to use our logic. Now we're told the following facts that AOC and BOD are diameters uh, of the circle center O. Prove that AB, D and DCA are congruent. So these two triangles are congruent. Now the word congruent means the same. Okay, so they must have three same sides and three same angles in between. Now, the way you can show congruence, this is a little bit of revision, congruence, there are some ways you can show congruence. Now, if you can show, uh, you can either show congruence by having showing that three sides are the same. So if you have a tri if you have two triangles and you can prove that the three sides are the same length, then you know that they are congruent. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is if you can prove that you, two sides are the same. So if you could prove that two sides are the same, okay, and the angle between them is the same, then the third side must be predetermined. So you have a side and the angle between them and a side. The other thing, uh, so and three sides is, is called side, side, side. And the other way you could show they're the same, you could show they're the same if you had one side, if you showed one side was the same, and you showed that the two angles at the either side of this um, were also the same in, the, in two different triangles, because that would predetermine the lengths of these sides. So if you had an angle, side, angle. So they're the three ways that you can show congruence show congruence in triangles, but they're the main ones that I'm going to talk about. So let's see what we can do in this question here. So um, firstly, because this is a diameter here and we have a triangle, we know that all triangles in a semicircle contain a 90 degrees. So that angle must be there for 90 and that angle must be there for 90. Right? We also know that because they're both diameters, they have the same uh, hypotenuse. So that is clearly 90 and that is also clearly 90. Right, what else would we need to show? Well, we could also, they both share side AD in common, so they both have two sides in common and an angle. Okay, um, and lastly, we could, we could say um, that BA must be equal to CD by Pythagoras' theorem. We could use that as well. So let's try and write this out to get full marks, okay? And that way we'd have three sides the same. So what we can say is we can say that BD, the side BD, is the same as the side AC. And the reason that's true is they are both diameters. Okay, because diameter of a circle has to be the same. What else could we say? Well, we could say that angle BAD must be equal to angle um, CDA must be equal to 90 degrees.